Methylene Blue, it could sharpen your mind, energize your cells, and maybe even help you live a longer life. Methylene Blue is touted as a miracle, anti-aging brain energy drug. A vast majority of people are mitochondrially dysfunctional and having some sort of metabolic trouble. Methylene Blue can be a nice sort of intervention to help overcome some of that, get things on the right track. Emerging research continues to highlight the potential of methylene blue. Recent studies suggest its role in neuroprotection, showing its ability to preserve neurological function and protect against neurodegenerative diseases. Its antimicrobial properties are also gaining attention, offering a potential avenue for treating antibiotic-resistant infections such as Lyme disease. However, more research is needed to fully understand its mechanisms and long-term implications. Methylene blue stands at the frontier of biohacking and functional medicine. It offers us a multifaceted approach to enhancing cognitive function function, mitochondrial health, and potentially our overall wellness. As we continue to explore its potential, it represents not just a substance of interest, but a symbol of the broader quest for optimal health and longevity. In the journey to become the ultimate human, methylene blue just may be one of the keys to unlocking our full potential. Remember, the path to wellness is both personal and complex. Methylene blue offers exciting possibilities, but it's essential to approach its use with care, informed by science, and guided by the principles of safety and individual health goals. Methylene blue is a monoamine oxidase inhibitor. This means that it blocks down the enzyme that breaks down our neurotransmitters like serotonin. More serotonin, because the removal is less, means you feel better. And monoamine oxidase inhibitors are sometimes used to treat depression. But too much of a good thing can kill. This brings me to what's the risk? Is methylene blue gonna kill you with serotonin syndrome? Many people who I respect give warning about this but I have a healthy dose of skepticism. Serotonin syndrome is a condition that can be deadly. I think of it as a motor in the brain that's going too high because serotonin rises and the process to break it down is gone. And this just increases that rev. The patient's temperature rises, their heart rate goes up, and if left untreated, they can have a seizure or other organ failure. I'm disappointed that I haven't heard my colleagues mention that methylene blue is a reversible type of monoamine oxidase inhibitors. This is nowhere near as concerning. Changing the pH or adding heat can cancel out the effects. First thing I have to note, you should not be taking a high dose of this stuff. We are talking a fraction of a milligram per kilogram of body weight here. I'm about 185 pounds and I typically do not take more than four milligrams of methylene blue. I know people that are taking 16 on the daily or taking 50 milligrams north. Like that is to me way too much. Okay, we are talking something that we are just trying to get a little bit of movement here in the mitochondria. What I mean by all this is fasting is good for the mitochondria from that perspective anyway, right? Like we're trying to improve metabolic and mitochondrial function. Methylene blue, is doing the same thing. It's boosting mitochondrial function, but it's doing this by providing an additional electron donor, but also a carrier. So you're kind of overriding and getting an additional metabolic boost. 